Hi, my name is Dallas Blake, powertrain staff engineer for Polaris. I'm here with Alex Atin, who's a senior development engineer with Polaris. We're here to discuss the new Patriot Boost platform and the importance of using Polaris engineered oils. Honestly, VS Extreme came to be because we were developing the Patriot platform uh, back a number of years ago, and we knew that we needed an oil that was able to meet the demands of the engine, especially with a turbo application later on in its life. So we were developing the oil with that turbocharger configuration in mind. So it's always been important to us that we develop a oil with the engine configuration to make sure that it works so that we can revise the formulation or we can work on the engine calibration for the oil delivery to make sure that the durability needs of the customer are met. So overall, throughout the life of the VS Extreme on the Patriot Boost platform, we probably have 5,000 hours of dyno operation, about 20,000 miles in the field, just in a turbocharge application. Not to mention all of the time hours on the dyno, as well as field miles that we have on the VS Extreme for a Patriot non-turbocharged application. So Alex, with oil delivery for the Patriot Boost platform, why don't you walk me through the oil path for the turbocharger, as well as what we're really looking for for component durability. So the oil starts all in the same spot in the, in the bottle uh, where it comes down the line into a T and goes to a new pump. We have this new pump, it's very small, 0 0.008 cubic centimeters per shot. This, this pump is only for the turbocharger. Um, and from here it feeds down another line up to the turbocharger, which where there's a hard mounted line, stainless steel braided line um, that is rigidly mounted to the turbo. Um, from here it comes to a check valve which is pressed into the turbocharger. This check valve is the same one we use on the crankcases, and this is here to ensure that upon startup, the, there's oil right at the turbocharger and it, the bearings get oil immediately once the, the engine is running. From there, the oil enters the bearing housing, um, which is made of all aluminum, and it enters through the center port. These two outer ports are for water cooling, which these fittings are over here for water cooling. Um, once inside the bearing housing, the oil enters a, a cavity we call the, the squeeze film damper. And what that is, is it's this very small gap between the outer bearing spacer and the bearings and the bearing housing. This gap is there to provide a, a film of oil all the way around the rotating assembly and provide damping to the rotating group at high speeds of 140,000 RPM. What happens is the, the rotating assembly will go through a natural frequency um, and get very excessive, very high loads, and that oil film uh, needs to maintain viscosity to provide that dampening. And that's why VES Extreme works so well. Um, from there, the oil comes up. Since our turbo is ver mounted vertically, we do what we call top-down oiling. The oil comes up to the top to the compressor seals where it lubricates the seal and prevents galling. From there, it enters, the, it goes over the top of the compressor bearing and down through the middle between the two races. Um, furthermore, it goes down between the two inner and outer spacers through that gap, which is quite large. Uh, finally, to the, to the turbine bearing and through the races here and, and uh, lubricates those. Uh, then it hits the turbine seals, which are two seals mounted on the hub of the turbine wheel um, and the seal plate here, which is made out of steel. So this rides on there and needs to be lubricated to prevent galling and stiction and, and whatnot. Uh, from there, the oil exits through. What, what oil does make it past the seals uh, hits this, what we call a flinger. The flinger sends the oil outwards in the heat shield through these holes, and these holes are positioned such that uh, the oil can drop through the blades of the turbine wheel. So and it, it's good to remember that at max, uh, flow that's 0 0.02 cubic centimeters of oil uh, per second is all that's that's going through the turbocharger. And I think that's something that's important is that, you know, because we've been developing a new Patriot Boost platform, we've had the opportunity to develop new control strategy for the turbo oil pump. So because we can keep it totally separate from the engine oil pump, we don't have to tie the turbo oil delivery to when the engine needs oil. So with that, we've been able to develop new control strategy that's been important so that we can maintain prime for the turbocharger system on startup and on cold start. 
and also make sure that we deliver only the oil that's needed and only when it's needed. Right. So we can maintain a low smoke operation, a minimized oil consumption, and we can ensure that with Polaris engineered lubricants, in particular VS Extreme, that our oil pump operates at the efficiency that we intend it to, and we can maintain prime in the turbocharger. So with that in mind, how much do you think that the turbocharger uh, integration really adds to the oil consumption of the engine? Yeah, in our testing, the turbocharger itself has added two to 6% extra oil uh, consumption based, and, and that varies based on uh, boost pressure and turbo speed and elevation, things like that. And we are targeting very similar oil ratios for the engine compared to a non-turbocharged Patriot 850. But it's important to keep in mind that as boost pressure goes up, the fuel flow goes up. So the oil needs to maintain a ratio do increase. So the oil consumption will be higher, right. but targeting the same ratios for delivery for the engine. Yeah. And the other thing that we got to keep in mind that's interesting, at least about this product, is that this platform is making boost at low elevation. We are maintaining a power increase even at sea level. And that does place extra demands on the oil delivery system. And that's why it's important to make sure that we're using oil that's really designed with the engine and for the engine. Thanks, Alex. I'm really excited with the new Patriot Boost platform. I think it's gonna be really exciting. Yeah, me too. And for more information, please visit Polaris.com.